Hello and welcome to the seventh installment of this free Learn Violin Online Beginner course. I'm Megan, the creator behind LVO, and today we'll be learning all about our third finger. This is the last finger that we will learn about in practice before practicing some scales and songs. Now I know what you might be thinking, Megan, what about the fourth finger? I know, trust me, I haven't forgotten about it. The fourth finger is the smallest finger, the weakest finger, and therefore the hardest finger to use. So I suggest just practicing with fingers one, two, and three to start. Once you feel a little bit more comfortable with your posture, positioning, and just using your finger, then we will add the fourth finger into the mix. So the placement of the third finger is slightly different than that of the other two fingers. The first finger was about an inch away from the neck, or sorry, the nut of the violin. The second finger was about an inch away from the first finger, but the third finger is going to go right next to your second finger. So your second and third finger should be touching. Additionally, I would like to introduce the concept of resonant intonation, and that is a lot more complicated um, sounding than it actually is. So certain notes on the violin, namely the notes of the open strings, G, D, A, and E, will ring or resonate more than others. When these notes ring or resonate, that tells you that you are in tune. You have landed your finger on the exact right spot. So all of your third fingers on each string should ring and resonate. I like to use the third finger on D string as an example because for my violin, that's the most resonant note. Did you hear how the note just kept going? It kept ringing. That tells me that I'm in tune. So back over to the A string, the third finger note is going to be the note A. Now you might be thinking, what about H, I? Those don't exist in music. The musical alphabet just goes from A to G. Once you get to G, you start over again at A. And do you remember those octaves we talked about last time? Well, this third finger on the A string, or sorry, excuse me, E string, is an octave of your open A string. So those two notes should sound the same. And again, your third finger should ring and resonate. So let's start by playing an open E. Now an F sharp first finger. G sharp second finger. And A third finger. So again, the third finger should be right next to your second finger and it should ring and resonate. You wanna play your open A. and compare it to your high A, that's also a great way of checking your intonation. Over to the A string, the third finger note is going to be D. So yes, that is the same note as your open D string, just one octave higher. So let's play open A. D, first finger. C sharp, second finger. D, third finger. Listen for the ring. Over to the D string, your third finger is going to be the note G. Yes, just like your open D string. And like I mentioned before, um, at least for my violin, and honestly I find for a lot of violins too, this note is probably the most resonant note on the instrument. So if you're having a little bit of trouble hearing that ring, that resonance, totally normal at first, but this note is gonna be your best bet to hear it. So let's start with an open D. First finger E. Second finger F sharp. Your first finger on the D string will also ring because that's an E, right? That's the name of your open string. 
you're probably not going to be able to hear it over the screen, but if you hit that first finger on D string just right, you should hear your open E resonating. Over to the D string, so the third finger on G string is going to be the note C. Um, this note won't resonate as much just because we don't have a C string, we're not violas, <laughs> so you're probably not going to be able to hear the resonance as much on this note, but that's okay. So let's play our open G string. First finger A. Second finger B. And third finger C. Okay, so really not as much resonance on that note. However, your first finger on the G string, the note A. Can you hear my open A ringing? Not sure if you'll be able to over the, the camera, but maybe you can hear it on your own violin. And again, that tells you that you are exactly in tune, your finger is hitting the exact right spot. Be sure to download the free PDF exercises that go along with this video. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. And if you are a loving and structured learning plan in my instruction, think about how much more you'll learn inside of LVO. I'll see you next time while we work on scales.